Hello, my name is Rob McCarthy and welcome to this series of practical demonstrations on the benefits of Tastec encapsulation technology. Today we're going to be looking at the matrix particle system and here to give the practical demonstration is Simon Phillips, food technologist. Simon, what have we got? So what I'm going to show you here is a brief demonstration showing the differences in release between encapsulated and non-encapsulated materials, in this case sodium bicarbonate. Okay. So to show this, I've got two containers here one containing a regular sodium bicarbonate and this one containing a encapsulated sodium bicarbonate. To show the difference in release, I've got an acidic solution here. So, as you can see, when I add these acidic solutions to the containers, they do not react in the same way. No, the regular sodium, bi sodium bicarbonate has reacted almost instantly, however the encapsulated sodium bicarbonate has reacted very little. And why is this happening? Um, it's because the lipid layer surrounding the encapsulated sodium bicarbonate is preventing the reaction between the acid and base at ambient temperatures. Okay, we can see a demonstration of the matrix particle system here on the screen with this uh, barium material and the active ingredient with it, within it. Um, why would this system be useful for, say, bakery applications? Well, this now allows a bakery manufacturer to ensure that the production of carbon dioxide is targeted to the baking phase and is not being lost throughout the mixing phases. Um, this is especially important in a low viscosity system where the gas produced by the carbon dioxide has the potential to be lost through the surface of the, of the batter. So, for example, manufacturers of large batter mixes may yes. find this advantageous. Okay, right. I can see that we quite clearly controlled the release here. How do we actually get the uh, bicarb to start working now? Well, encapsulated materials can be released in a number of ways. In this instance, it's with heat. So, I've got the same acidic solution here, and when I add this, the encapsulated sodium bicarbonate. As you can see, it reacts almost instantly. Yeah, absolutely. It's working as it, as it should do. Uh, I can quite clearly see that. What's happening is the heat effectively is melting the barrier material and the, act and the bicarb is becoming active. That's right. Okay, well I hope that was a useful practical demonstration of the matrix particle system. If you'd like any further information or samples, then please do contact us using the details on screen. Thank you for your attention and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.